Evening once again. For more than two decades now, Child Protective Services has helped thousands of families from its location in downtown Buffalo. But that is about to change. Authorities now say that by the end of this year, they will be operating out of a new, more centralized location. But is it really? 7 Eyewitness News reporter James Groh takes a look tonight. I've had to rush down here to report incidents with kids. With Luis Nolly has had to use Child Protective Services in downtown Buffalo a lot. I have a kid right now who I had to go to CPS with, who's uh, kind of staying with me until they find some place for him to go other than a home. But now it's going to be a little tougher for Nolly to get to CPS because it's moving to the Apple Tree Business Park in Chictawaga. I don't drive. I would have to be in a car, get a car, get a ride. Beyond the transportation issue, some people are saying that by placing the new CPS location here at the Apple Tree Business Park, you're moving services farther away from people that really need it. About 44% of the children removed from the home are black children. With the majority of Erie County's African American population living in the city of Buffalo, legislative candidate Duncan Kirkwood says the issue only gets worse. But moving a place where people can get family services further away in no way helps that problem. No one from CPS would speak to us on camera, but County Executive Mark Polencars tweeted out these pictures of the new location today. The county says Apple Tree is centrally located on a a major bus route and has free parking. It also features workstations, conference rooms, and even lactation rooms for new moms. The CPS office in downtown Buffalo is still open, but the county hopes to relocate all operations by the end of the year. In Chictawaga, James Grow, 7 Eyewitness News.